the jaw-dropping numbers behind New York Fashion Week. You won't believe how much money the event rakes in. Fashion face-off at the Venice Film Festival. Alessandro Ambrosio and Diane Kruger battle it out. And the only seven items you need to buy to look stylish this fall, our full trend guide. It's all ahead on We Spy Style. This episode of We Spy Style is brought to you by the 100% collection found exclusively at Bloomingdale's. Hi everyone, I'm Allison McNamara. Welcome to another week on We Spy Style. I've got Ryan Roschke by my side. As always. Hi, <laughs> hello. And joining us for a fun episode is the lovely Audrina Patridge. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. So you just relaunched your lifestyle site, right? I did. It's, so tell us all about it. Yeah, so I just, I didn't change the name or anything. It's just audrinapatridge.com. Okay. And I wanted to make it more about fashion, beauty, um, travel, mm -hmm. you know, recipes, everything that I've done the last two years. And so you have another project. Can you tell us a little bit about your new show? So NBC's first look, uh, the new season's premiering at September 12th okay. with an episode about underground gems across the country. Ooh, yes. should I have like a map ready? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you should. Well, let's kick off the show by chatting about the always stylish Venice Film Festival. We've already seen some stunning looks since the festival started earlier this month, but surprisingly, a lot of celebrities have been wearing very similar outfits, so it's time for a little fashion face-off. That's right, so everyone has their whiteboards now, and what we're going to do is every round we'll write our favorite looks down, and we're going to discuss how we feel about them. Right, and you nice. over there at home, I want you to let us know what you think in the comments below. Yep, all right, so first, three stars all wore daytime jumpsuits. Diane Kruger's in a tacoon jumpsuit, Alessandro Ambrosio's in this paisley jumpsuit, and Elizabeth Banks is in a printed version. Who wore the daytime jumpsuit best? Vote. One, two, three. Oh, oh I'm a loser. wow. Okay, you are the loser. Oh, oh my god. Okay, you wanted to break this one yeah. down for us? I mean, it was tough for me because I did like Diane's. Yeah. It's very it's very like fashiony and a little more high end, but I do love Alessandra's cuz I just love that bohemian mm -hmm. lifestyle. It's yes. laid back, but it's still dressed up and she's so stylish. She yeah. really rocks it too. And I I think we've talked about this before, but I kind of like that she dressed it down a little bit, you mm -hmm. know. See, I want Diane Kruger for what you said, like it's the fashion moment. Yeah. I love yes. that tacoon jumpsuit. And I just love how Diane always thinks of like the full styling. So she's got like a hat and a great shoe. Uh, next up, we've got the we short floral guy. mini. We've got Elizabeth Banks in Dolce & Gabbana with matching daisies to her Weitzman heels. And Diane Kruger in an edgier preen dress with combat boots. Are you trying to start a feud between these two? Like, I kind of <laughs> am. Like, who are better? Ready? One, yeah. two, three. Oh, okay, we're all in agreement here. Do you want to take this one sure. for us? So I originally was going to go with Diane, but the one thing that I don't love about Diane's dress is the bib. The I have bib. a thing against the bib. Like the when Keira Knightley did the bib, I think it was one of those big award shows. I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. I love that she dressed it down with the combat boot. Me but too. That's why I went with Elizabeth. She's stunning, and I think this really does her justice. Yeah. Like she looks yes. incredible. This is Elizabeth thing. Exactly. Yeah, this is the woman we yeah. know. Like Effie Trinket. <laughs> yeah. Finally, we've got long and white at night. Again, it's Elizabeth Banks in a jewel trim Dolce & Gabbana. Diane Kruger, do they have like the same stylist? They in a might. caped Prada gown, and then Alessandro Ambrosio in this sheer ruffled philosophy oh, gown. Oh man, you really this picked a hard. tough one here. I think they're all, oh God, they're all really pretty. <laughs> Vote. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> So why'd you go Elizabeth Banks? I just think it's so classic and beautiful, very. sophisticated, sleek. It's very, very um, Marilyn Monroe, old yeah. Hollywood. Oh, very. And I think it's just perfect. I have to say, I love each look in its own way. Mm -hmm. Like it was working. Mm -hmm. For sure. Lot, like Alessandra, when it's mm -hmm. not moving, it actually looks really beautiful and you need to be a supermodel to wear that. Right. Yeah. So I love that. But I love Diane Kruger's cape moment. I love me like too. embellishing on the I, back. I will say I'm a sucker for a cape. Oh, oh I'm a God, sucker for a cape. <laughs> <laughs> and I just think this is so <laughs> true to <laughs> Diane. Yeah, there, you, you should <laughs> yeah. cape it up a little bit. I mean, uh, all the looks are good. You can I mean, everyone's down. fabulous. Mm -hmm. So the Venice Film Festival goes through September 12th. So make sure to check out Pop Sugar Fashion for all the latest looks from the festival. Now let's get those Boards out of here. I'm gonna like genie them away. Ding. Bing. <laughs> so the Venice Film Festival isn't the only big event going on this nope. week, right, Allison? That's right. After this, I'm actually heading straight to New York Fashion Week for spring uh, 2016, believe it or not. Yeah. Yep. So I'll be bringing you guys lots of backstage interviews from your favorite designers and celebrities. So stay tuned for those. But um, and I'm not going, so that's totally fine. I know fine. you're gonna be here. I feel great about I'll it. I'll be there. <laughs> You'll be there. We'll be there. You won't. Yeah. Sorry. But let me ask it's you guys cool. this. Do you have any idea how much money the shows bring in each year? I'm gonna say at least three or four dollars. You are so incorrect. <laughs> well, I actually have the answer. Check it out. Just how much money does New York Fashion Week rake in each year? Try a billion dollars. Well, 
Almost. According to former Mayor Bloomberg, this year's events are estimated to bring in a record $865 million for the city of New York. That's more than last year's Super Bowl or the U.S. Open. A big part of that comes from tourism. New York's two fashion weeks generate about $532 million in visitor spending alone, ranging from hotels to restaurants to cab and Uber rides, and employs 5.7% of New York's total workforce. That's over 200,000 people. How does it create so much cash? Well, for starters, 230,000 people on average attend the shows each season. This year, 254 designers will be showcasing their collections for spring-summer 2016. And Marc Jacobs told the New York Times that in 2011, his show cost $1 million total. And considering fashion shows last between 10 and 20 minutes max, that's about $1,750 per second. You fancy, Mark. The quote, normal runway show costs an average of $200,000, but that's excluding a celebrity front row appearance, which can tack on another $100,000 for an A-lister like Kate Hudson. On the catwalk, runway shows typically feature 30 to 40 models, with the average model getting paid about $1,000 per show. And top models like Carly Kloss and Giselle Bunchen can make up to $20,000 for just one show. Talk about a pricey strut. Things get pretty crazy backstage too. Over 800 Maybelline mascara tubes are used on the models throughout the week. 300 Revlon makeup brushes are used backstage at a single show. And 156 Kerastase hairspray cans are used over the course of 11 shows. It takes a village, seriously. And finally, 72. That's the number of years New York Fashion Week has been going on. Eleanor Lambert started what was then called Fashion Press Week back in 1943. Since its birth, Fashion Week has had three homes, including Bryant Park, Lincoln Center, and its new headquarters this year at Skylight Clarkson Square. I just can't believe, it's like $1,700 a second for that Marc yeah, Jacobs show. Yeah, crazy! Insane. Like, it's a lot of bags. I know. I think it's safe to say that fall is the most glorious season, just in general. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, fall of TV, college football, fashion week, and fall shopping, which is great. But with so many good things to buy, how do you look fashionable without breaking the bank? Well, we've got the answer. Ready, set, shop. Here are the top seven trends you need to try for fall. One, denim. And this season, it's all about a good straight leg, a little looser in the thighs and cropped at the ankle. The perfect length to show off some great shoes. Which brings us to number two. We love a heel, but this fall, invest in a kitten heel. A good pointy dorsay will be your new best friend and your feet will thank you. Three, punch up your outerwear. Try getting a jacket with some crucial color fuzz. Furry collars were all over the runways at Celine, Michael Kors, and Jason Wu. Four, get yourself a structured bag. Chic, simple, ladylike, and a perfect juxtaposition to your casual fall outfits. Five, wanna wear color? Go for Dusty Violet. It's fresh and unexpected for fall. We loved it on the runways at Tibby, Tome, and Chanel. Six, speaking of color, forget color blocking. Fall is all about some good patchwork. Try a bold jacket like we saw at Chloe or a patchwork dress as seen at Salvatore Ferragamo. And finally, seven is for 70s. This decade is still going strong for fall. Transition by reaching for beautiful suede jackets and maybe even try out a flare while you're at it. So there's a lot of trends going on in there. Mm -hmm. Which ones are we feeling right now? I am sure. all about the 70s. Yeah? I'm so obsessed. Me too! I love it. I feel like the 70s is so much more classic. It's and there's so many more things you can play yes, with. Yes, it's glamorous, but it's also kind of casual at the same time. Yeah, like yeah. The flare flares. Okay, what about you? Well, I was really feeling like dramatic outerwear. I love like a really Some nice drums. coat. I like the longer the <laughs> Because I'm gigantic, you know, I'm like, you guys have never seen me standing, but I'm like 90 feet tall. So um, I like to have a long jacket. I think it's really fashionable. No, I know, but I feel like it's the drama. It's all the drama. So while we're talking about shopping, let's talk about what we've got our eyes on for fall and buy one thing, yeah. our fall shopping list. Let's okay, do it. Okay, Ryan, what do you have? So I picked out these Vince A slip-on sneakers, you know? They kind of harpen, harken back to those like trendy vans that were in like a little while ago, but this is kind of like the elevated version. I love a slip-on shoe. They're leather. I love, I love a slip-on shoe. I love not dealing with laces, and these kind of give it a high fashion edge. Yeah, no socks, yeah. no problem. For exactly. Me. Yeah. I mean, look, I'm not even right oh, now. These are, no you socks. You are a shoe guy. <laughs> I'm such a shoe yeah. guy. Yeah. He always has really good shoes. It's a oh shoe my you guys God, can't see them all the time. Thank you. Should I just start doing like? You should just put your legs out yes, here. Yes, right. So let's move on to Adrena. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, 
as you guys know, I'm all about the 70s. Yep. So mm -hmm. I chose these high-waisted flared jeans. Oh, Love wow, They're yeah. black. I just think they're so cute. You can wear them with clogs. Even like a light denim would be super cute. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think flared jeans, like a lot of women are scared to wear them, but they actually are very flattering. So this is the time well, to like, experience. Yeah. Um, my choice is the structured bag. I love a two-tone bag with a little Speaking bit of color. Speaking of structured bags. I know. I love anything because I wear a lot of um, blacks and gray, so I mm -hmm. like my bags and my accessories to be kind of like the standout. I love this Longchamp bag. It's two-tone in my favorite colors right Oh, my now. God. Bordeaux and navy. You, you did that on purpose. I did that on purpose. Okay. <laughs> and it retails for $7.20, so. Very I like nice. all of our picks, though. I Great think, picks yeah. 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 And all of these items are from the 100% collection found exclusively at Bloomingdale's. And I think that's a wrap on We Spy Style. So sad. Thank you I know. for being here Thank today. You. Just flew Always by. Always a pleasure. Thank you. you guys at home, let us know what looks you like from the Venice Film Festival, who you agree with, and the most shocking New York Fashion Week numbers in the comments below. And if you like this episode, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe <laughs> button so you never miss an episode. I like my mean over here. I know you're like, thumbs up, yes, subscribe I'm button. <laughs> and make sure to come back here for all of my Fashion Week coverage. Bye. Bye. Bye.